Hey guys, what's going on? First thing I want to say is Happy New Year. It is the beginning of the year. This will be the first video of 2021 that you guys see. And another thing I want to say is thank you everyone because I just hit 200,000 subscribers. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you for watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, sharing them, all of your support that you guys give me every single day. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And today's video we are going wade fishing, something I haven't done in quite some time and we had an absolutely beautiful day out there and we caught a bunch of fish, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here's a nice one. Use them wisely. Nice big boy. Vic, I feel like every time we go wade fishing it's always really windy. Yeah, there's usually nothing else to do. It's like nothing else to do so we can only go wade fishing when it's really windy. Have you ever heard of people getting bit by sharks doing this? What? Have you ever heard about people getting bit by sharks doing this? Just some little pop and cork action. Mullet! I make Vic carry my shrimp so nothing attacks me. Bait boy, doe boy, but still your boy. Ah. And a lyrical genius. There's a hole in my waders for sure. Oh, I got something! Get him, babe. Please don't be a catfish! <laughs> no. That's a trout. It's a trout ski. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, he's hooked weird. He's like wrapped up. I got it. No, you got it. His hook is like in his throat. Oh! Oh, he's hooked good. <laughs> Yay! Good job. I did it! Yeah, you did. That's another keeper. That's a keeper. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Are you Big sure? Yeah. Here, this guy's probably you... 16 inches. Hold them good because they are very squirmy fish, Brookster. <laughs> Yeah, Are you sure he's a keeper? Yes. A they got between 15, 15 and, and 19. And 19. Inches. That, that guy's 16 inches all day. Babe, I don't think so. Yes, 100%. You ever measure my first trout while wade fishing. I've never really had a good day of trout of um, wade fishing. I've never caught a trout while wade fishing. So there we go. Let's add him to your stringer, Vic. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, he's on our stringer. Then I'm making Victor hold because. I don't want this fish hanging on me. You guys see how murky this water is? That's why Brooke makes me hold it because if a shark comes by, you're not even going to see it coming. I can't even see my feet. First fish for me of 2021. Thank you. So we got our little shrimp in the live well. Little jig head hooking them right through the tail, just like that, and then we're ready to go. I need to get in this action over here. It's getting a little too deep. <gasps> wow, Vic! Oh yeah, baby, we got water in our boots! Trout are really cute fish. Yeah, they are. Oh, my bobber went down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Got him on. Bobbers down. What do we got? What do we got? My foot is stuck. Cat. <laughs> They're not even full-size catfish, they're mini cats. They're petite cats. All I can think about is Joey and Tanelli getting a barb. Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm on. Well, I was on. Ryan, where's your bobber? 
change their batteries and someone had to actually try and fish you know what I'm saying now nah, this is beautiful little trout probably like 18 inches they have to be 15 inches to keep 19 maximum and you're allowed one over the slot allowed two per person see we were talking about it earlier on Victor's this one has two fangs his only had one so it's a good old two fanger not a liar yep you guys are the ones catching trout. Got one! Just like that. I got something. Something little. Oh, look how cute! Come here. Guys, we're in the meat right now. That was actually on a really little shrimp that I caught that on the trout on. This is the smallest, cutest jack ever. <laughs> What kind of fish it is? Oh, Dude, that was a good set. Oh, catfish! Oh, 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 oh whoa! <laughs> I hear bull sharks love to eat at sunset. Yeah, you watch too much Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Always what they say. Here goes. And I'm like, bro, you know how many times I fish for these hemp things at sunset? <laughs> 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 Walk around and follow your fish. It is a pop it out. It's, <laughs> it's huge! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Don't get tangled! Wait, 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 wait! Watch out, watch out! He's in my face. Oh my gosh, this is stunned. Get it, Ryan, get it! Hey, let work work off! Oh my god, it's huge! It's huge! It's huge! Is it a pop it or a permit? God damn. That's Yo! Oh, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so giant. Cool. Where are you at? Moving away. Oh, man. Though. Yeah, that's like 20 inches. He choked wow. it. He's got the jig head down the bottom. Team Jake head wins the day. <laughs> that's <laughs> Good job, awesome. Brooke. That's my biggest pop now. On a shrimp while weed fishing. How yeah. cool. That's probably the best way to catch them. The sun's about to go down. We're heading back where we had first gotten into the water. And I had only caught that one trout and one catfish. Victor's caught a bunch of trout. Ryan's caught a bunch of fish. And this absolutely saved the day for me. This beautiful pompano. Absolutely epic. You're gonna make a video now, right? Yeah. There you go. Look at the um, sunrise, the sun, sunset. The sun just went down. So we have only a few minutes probably before it starts getting dark, so we should probably head back, but I am so happy. Whole baked pompano? Ooh, maybe. Oh crap, can I just put my reel in the water? Yeah, 
we all oh, let's okay. let's <laughs> and also my waders definitely have a hole in them and my whole right leg is soaked so that'll be interesting when i take my waders off but i'm so Good job. happy i still haven't unhooked them it's okay let me get them through the stringer first okay through the stringer all right we're yeah, adding them to the stringer you got how many trout on you vic four five five yeah five trout can i let it go yep look at that yellow belly it's funny how they change colors when you catch them like when you first catch them they can be really silver and then as they start like dying or you put them in the cooler or something like that that yellow belly like really shows it pops up right yeah especially when you put them on ice yeah just to get a real cooler and you get that beautiful yellow belly start showing that is my first fishing trip of 2021 First wade fishing I've done in quite some time too. And your biggest pompano. And my biggest pompano. Cool, right? <laughs> yeah, I've only ever caught pompano off the beach, like on surf fishing setups. And when you oh, do it, or on the pier, on the pier and on the beach, on like big, like ten foot long rods where you're casting out real far with sand fleas and stuff like that, not on like a live shrimp. So, pretty exciting much more fun to catch them on a little rod. When you catch them on the surf rods, you're fishing these huge rods and you barely get to feel them. But... Yeah, you're also fishing like a few ounces of weight too. Yep. Where with this, you know, you actually get to fight the fish. So that was cool. So not what I was expecting to catch a pompano, but I am very stoked about it. Beautiful sunset. I was whistling at the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice little stringer for a couple hours of wade fishing. Not bad. Far ex exceeded my expectations. I'll Not bad that. at all. Good job, guys. Good job, team. Group huddle. Bring it in. Nice. All right, guys. So we are back home. Oops. All right, guys. So we are back home at the fillet table, and I got my pompano here. And since I only caught one pompano, Victor's gonna cook up the trout, and I think I'm going to do a whole pompano recipe. I've never cooked a whole pompano before, so I'm very excited for this, but check out how yellow he is compared to when I had first caught him. That's what we were saying, when you put them on ice, they just get that really yellow belly. Even these blues and like green iridescent colors came out. When I had first caught him, he was like straight silver. So that's pretty cool. So the first thing we're gonna do, when you cook a whole fish, you want to make sure you gut your fish. You don't wanna cook your fish with the guts. So what I'm going to do is take my knife from the anal opening all the way up to his throat like this I'm gonna do. And I'm also going to take out his gills. They don't have a ton of head meat, but I think I'm gonna just leave the head on anyways. So open this up. And you want to make sure you get all this stuff out. Pompano is a fish that is very oily, so it has a lot of flavor. So it's kind of a good fish to cook whole. They also have a pretty intense bloodline. So looking back, I probably should have bled it, but that would have just been another reason to uh, been afraid of sharks coming to attack Victor with his... Um, stringer of fish is if we had also bled the fish but they have a pretty intense bloodline so honestly if you're gonna do this i would probably have bled it when you first caught it that's all the guts out of the gut cavity let's rinse that away i'm also going to squirt out that cavity as well get out all that blood all right next we're gonna try to rip these gills out just with our fingers without getting anything on of our nice white shirt. <laughs> All right, so I'm using my knife to kind of help me get these out. So flip them over. Get these other side out as well. Okay. So there are two set of gills. Again, let's rinse everything out. So like I said, um, Pompano have really intense bloodlines. So what I did was I, so I took my knife and cut along 
the backbone, and that's where that bloodline is, and a bunch of coagulated blood came out. So if you had bled this fish to begin with, you wouldn't really be dealing with this, but now I kind of have to deal with that. So broke that out, because you don't really want to be eating all that blood. You don't want that to still be in there when you cook it. The more preparation you do at the fillet table in cleaning your fish properly, getting rid of the bloodline and stuff, the better results you're gonna have when you cook your fish. So just take your time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut off this peck fin because it's not doing any good for us. We don't need it. And I guess judging on the pan you're planning on cooking your fish in, you could also cut off the tail fin not really going to do anything for you so if your pan is too small cut off the tail fin also if your pan is still too small you can cut off the head because a pompano doesn't have a ton of head meat there are fish like grouper they got a lot of head meat this guy he's got a small little head he doesn't have much head meat in there so don't really have to worry about that and then i'm also going to cut off the ventral fins So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scale this. This fish also has very, very small scales. You could probably eat it without doing this and it not bother you, um, but I'm going to take the scales off. Some fish have really big scales, so you obviously don't want to leave those scales on, but we're going to take the back of a butter knife, or maybe even the front of the butter knife, and we're going to go the opposite way, and you'll see all those little scales fly off. You see all those little scales on my knife? I, I want to really enjoy the skin and not have to think about all those little scales on there. And we'll catch you guys in the next clip when this fish is done. When I'm, when I'm covered in scales. <laughs> so to the best of my ability, I have taken the scales off. I'm sure there's still probably a bunch of little scales on there, but not gonna kill you so don't stress over not getting every single tiny little scale off because it's gonna be hard to gut cavities all cleaned out gills are out of there no coagulated blood or anything where that you don't want to be eating and this baby is ready for the kitchen so i will see you guys there hey guys welcome back to the kitchen so tonight we are doing a nice simple one pan recipe so we're going to be baking our pompano in this pan with some vegetables so we have some zucchini carrots, and then some onion chopped up into this pan already. And to season it, we're going to take some olive oil. Next, salt. And then some pepper. Some rosemary. Garlic powder. Thyme. And lastly, some paprika. Time to stir. Okay, so moving on to seasoning our fish. We're going to be using all the same seasoning on our fish. So like I was telling you guys at the filet table, you might have to chop the tail off of your pompano just in case it doesn't fit in your pan, which I had to do because it wasn't going to fit into my pan. So we got rid of the tail, which honestly, you're not gonna get much meat out of the tail. So first thing we're doing with our fish is we're going to score the skin. That way we get some nice flavors going on inside the meat of the fish. And it also is going to allow it to cook a little bit easier. So we're not going deep. Just a nice, pretty superficial slice. So now I'm going to turn them 180 degrees. I'm going to turn him, I don't know how many degrees I'm at now, 260, 270 something. <laughs> so that you can make an X. You want to make a nice X on him. Then flip him over and do the same thing on the other side. Now that our skin is nice and scored, I'm going to season it over the vegetables just so I don't make a giant mess. Um, Vic, will you please assist us by pouring, pouring on some olive oil? 
since my hands are dirty. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Other side, please. As well as a little in the cavity, please. Thank you. Now we're going to wash our hands. All right, now we're going to season the outside of the fish, just like we did with the vegetables. Pepper, and I also have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Garlic powder. I'm not sure if I should be seasoning his head, should I? <laughs> Are you gonna eat the eyeball, Vic? If you want me to. Paprika, the only thing, the only difference that I'm going to do on the fish compared to what I did to the vegetables was I'm not going to put the rosemary on him. Okay, flip. I'm very excited for this. I'm not sure if I've ever baked a whole fish on the channel before, have I, Vic? I know you have, but I'm not sure if I, I don't ever think have. You have. Oh, maybe I may have done a mutton before. And now for the stuffing of the cavity. We have some whole garlic cloves. Put a couple of those in there. And then these other ones, I'm gonna just drop it into the pan. Then we're going to take some lemon slices. Stuff those in there. And then we're going to take some thyme, which was fresh frozen. So this actually was in my freezer um, in a bag of water. But it looks perfect. And then some rosemary. It smells good. Just like that. And that's it. Now we're gonna put this baby in the oven. Okay, like I said, oven is at 350. And let me tell you, this guy's pretty heavy. And I honestly have no idea how long this is gonna cook for, so I'm gonna give you guys some updates on how long it goes for. I think I'm gonna set a timer for like 15 minutes just so I can remember to come check on it. But I think it's gonna probably take closer to like 40 because the fish are just so big. Okay, 15 minutes. Um, you can smell it, it smells absolutely amazing already, doesn't it, Vic? Mm -hmm. I don't think anything has really happened yet. Let's take a little peek. Oh yeah, it's gonna need a long time. Whoo, baby, I can smell that rosemary. More than anything, how about you? Rosemary, thyme, lemon, I smell a little bit of everything. Another 15 minutes and then we'll come check on it again. All right guys, so it has been an hour. I've checked on it a few times and I wanted to just let it keep going. It's still very moist so it hasn't dried out. The vegetables have gotten nice and tender. Look at that, holy moly. It smells so good. There's some juice down in there that the pompano released. The skin, ooh, is a little crispy. crispy. You ready to dig in? I think that we should just set it on the table and both just eat out of this pan. Sounds good to me. Well, Vic, it looks like a feast for two. Looks like a feast for six, but two people eating it. It's a lot of fish. Don't let it fool you. This was a big pompano. Let's see what we got for it. Get a little bite. Should of I fish just first. like yeah, break it see. and let's see what it looks like inside? Oh, man. Ooh, look at that. Nice and juicy. It smells so good. It's cooked really nice. I feel like this is gonna be really hot. Mmm. Wow. Vic, you're gonna love this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get a little bit of I want the full effect. I want a good piece of skin. Just like that.
This is a fish for me. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a fish for me. Mm-hmm. Well, I know a reason people really like pompano is it's oily, but a really good oily. You know when you have a, a good beef roast or a good like pork butt, a Boston butt, and it's got all that fat in there? Well, fish is naturally very lean, but pompano has a lot of natural fat, which is very rare for fish. Salmon, tuna have it, but out of the white flesh fish, pompano is one of them that has a good amount of fat. Mmm. And that fat, fat's flavor, you know, fat is juice. Baked an hour in the oven, didn't dry out at all. Just fork tender, it's just good. I'm back here eating it as I'm mm -hmm. talking, by the way. <laughs> so good. It is so delicious. The mm -hmm. vegetables are perfect, yeah. even though they were in there for an hour and they're not like overcooked. No, they're not mushy. Perfectly roasted. I'm not usually a carrot person, but when you have a carrot yet, they haven't. They're good. <laughs> this is a great way to eat a fish. Like we had one pompano cooked like this. Like this can be plenty of food for Victor and I. You can do this with a ton of different kinds of fish. And it really gives you all that great fish flavor and it's really delicious. You're gonna use all of the meat that sometimes when you're filleting, you can't get all the meat off the bones. It just doesn't happen. You're gonna be able to eat the throat meat, the head meat, every single bit of the fish you really get to you know enjoy it all and that's probably the best way to respect a fish is to eat it whole like this well as victor and i are finishing up our dinner i just want to say thank you guys one more time for helping me reach 200,000 subscribers to all of you who watch the videos comment like i really really appreciate it so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and i just want to say i hope you guys have a great 2021 hope you guys stay happy and healthy and hopefully catch some fish. <laughs> Lots of fish. Lots so, of fish in 2021. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Mm, that was so delicious and so healthy. Now I feel like I need a giant brownie bonanza. Yeah.